Uh, in today's episode, I'm going to be working on dry firing from concealed. Uh, this is not going to be dry firing open. Like, you know, I'm actually going to put on a coat too. Because uh, normally when I'm out and about in the city, I have, you know, a long sleeve. I wear a long sleeve if it's 100 degrees or not, to be honest. Um, and I have on some type of hoodie. I'm never really out in just like a small fleece or um, thermal or anything like that. I normally have something covering, uh, I'd say 75% of the time. I can't say not always, but um, I wanted to kind of practice to how I go out in the city. And I think that if you're gonna do this, you should practice on how you go out in the city. Just don't take what I do as as the word, you know, you should practice as you would for yourself. Right there for now. Take this out to show you. So if you can see this, um, I have this uh, concealed draw and trigger pull. Uh, so I'm supposed to be able to use this timer and it picks up my draw, my dry fire uh, accurately, uh, and I've already verified this on on some practice events yesterday, and it does pick up just my dry fire trigger, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I've set my timer for, I have to be able to draw from concealed, pull up my shirt from concealed, pull it out, find my target, and click the trigger before two seconds. That's my goal right now. And as I get better at this, you know, I'll kick it down to 1.5 seconds, one second. I don't know if I can do a, a accurate pull of my shirt, pull my firearm, and accurately find someone and fire all within one second. But hey, who knows? With, tra with practice, I might be able to, but I doubt it. Um, uh, two seconds seems to be um, well within range. I should be judging by what I've done in practice. I should be somewhere around like one six, one seven, um, one seven five, with pull shirt, and and draw accurately, find my target, dot on target, shoot. That's that's only how I'm going to perform. If I don't have my target on it, or if my hands are in the wrong position, I, I consider that to be a, a negligent discharge for me. Um, because my shot's gonna go somewhere that I don't want it. So, uh, I mean, within three yards, it really doesn't matter um, or if you're aiming or not at three, even in five, but when you're out at 15 yards, which is your LTC range, um, licensing range, it'll be three, five, or three, seven, and 15. Um, you definitely want to just practice aiming down sight, finding your target, putting that dot on the target if you're using a red dot, you know, and your iron iron sights if you're using your uh, if you're using your you know iron sights, make sure those are on target before you click the trigger, because uh, you really want to know where your shot's going, kind of thing. So, before I talk your ear off, I'm gonna go ahead and set this back up, and we are going to get started with the dry fire. Stay focused. All right, so one of the things I gotta do before starting is to make sure that I deactivate my live ammunition because this is my daily carry. Don't have anything, but I do have ammunition that I keep on the ready. Obviously, like I said, this is what I use on the daily. Uh, but I do have an empty magazine for this session that I'm going to use. I always gotta check to make sure that it uh, that it's actually empty. <laughs> you don't want to shoot through a wall, kind of thing. All right, we're ready to go. So let's put that there. Let's go back over here and make sure we are recording. Yes, and we are going to hit start. Ready. 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 Ready.
ready. That's cool. All right, so as you can see, um, when we do the playback here, uh, pretty bad, pretty bad. Um, my starts, uh, we're gonna go for that again. Let's make sure again that this is all empty, and it is. This is ready to fire, and we are going to start a second time. Let's hit record, and then we are going to Ready. Get ready. 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 All right, so we're gonna go uh, over to our history here. Kind of just want to see where I was on that last pool. Uh, let's see, I have. Uh, I want to look at for today. I have two sessions. So set one, I have it here. What is that? 1.82, 1.78, 1.74, and 1.78. So I have some room for improvement and just keeping my, just staying solid, like, I need to stay solid and, you know, don't pull the trigger so hard kind of thing. Uh, watch the video, I want to play back and see on this one. And I did get better from the first get go. As you see here, uh, I have a 196, a 203, which is fail time, 225, which is fail time, and a 277, a 291, which is fail time. And that's because I couldn't. <laughs> Some of the problem with concealed carry draw is actually pulling the shirt out of the way uh, to give yourself enough enough room to get it out of the way and get your firearm out and sometimes it gets stuck in the shirt and it's very annoying <laughs> and you don't you really don't want that to happen when you need your second amendment <laughs> to to work because that that's not good uh so we're gonna go uh let's hit this up at least two more times uh, no, i don't want to go out let's hit this up at least two more times on training for this session Overall, I'd say, man, I'm really, really liking um, this Shooters Global timer. Like, this thing is pretty cool. So, all right, set up. Okay. Get up these little stands here. Ready. Ready. Find it. Ready. That was slow. Couldn't find it. Bad pool. Ready. Bad round, bad round. Really gotta work on it. 
clearing, 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 and get this out. All right, so here we go. Ready. Nope. Ready. 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 All right, so for the last bit, I have my um, coat on, and I can tell you that this is gonna be quite a bit of a challenge to get this out uh, within two seconds, I think, um, mainly due to the fact that this is extra piece of layer that I have to rip up and out of the way uh, to get to my firearm. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. It's gonna hit start, start recording on the, on the Timer over here. Ready. Ready. Oh, snaps. Ready. <laughs> Whew, that wasn't so bad, I think. I gotta check the camera to see. But yeah. yeah. Uh, so, so we, we got, got a 2.6, a 1.9. Uh, let's, let's pull this, this off. off. Pull this off and take a look. Let's see. Activity. This last set. So we got a a one nine, a two four, a one nine eight, two oh six, two oh two. So there is definitely some room for improvement in, you know, my draw. I'm still a little iffy on drawing and actually, well, I'm seeing everything down sight, uh, but pulling the firearm from holster, I gotta work that grip uh, a little better. Uh, and that's just gonna come with practice, you know, getting down there and getting it out and getting your hands in the right place. Cause you're trying to do this pretty quick. Uh, so I just need to practice, I just need to practice more. And now that I have this, really awesome tool from Shooters Global. This allows me to one, shoot, dry fire and shoot, and video record myself all in the same app and with the device so that I can kind of watch um, my posture and everything. And I'm looking at myself on <laughs> on the uh, on one cam to the next. And it looks kind of weird, but I think this is, this is the future, man. You know, this little device here really, really helps and you can see all your best times on this thing right here uh it's pretty cool so you know i'm not sponsored by shooters global i paid full price for this thing uh no discounts uh if you will uh and i wanted to try it out because i well i wanted to get a timer you don't need to get this timer specifically but i wanted to get a timer uh that allowed me to dry fire without having to do anything extra uh, and this this thing does what I want the added benefit is the uh, Android app that allows you to do and see what you're seeing here uh, With my shots up on the up on the video so you get to see all of that And you can see yourself real time to see what you need to work on where you weak at 
and uh, I think that's pretty cool for me as a youtuber and influencer I think that this works out well uh, so that you all can see you know you saw my flaws uh, you know on display you know there's no hiding I'm not even gonna edit edit this much uh, you saw all of it so you know where I need to practice it I know where I need to practice it and I'm gonna try to at least drop this time down with my uh, hoodie on to at least 1.5 seconds maybe 1.6 seconds I'm gonna try to drop it down um, and that should be I mean that's that's hella fast uh, to draw from concealment you know I've, I'm pretty sure that I can draw without concealment a lot faster if I'm just drawing straight we're not having to pull something up I mean it's gonna be faster I would say I'll be like 1.3 1.4 seconds um, but we'll see I'll get to that in the future but right now it's about what I'm actually wearing on a daily how I'm going about the city you know whether in town out of town and can I draw from concealment on something that I carry on a daily um, the short answer to that is yes, but the long answer to that is I need a hell of a lot of practice and Maybe you do or do not, you know, we're all I'm not John Wick, but I'll leave you with that and uh, I'll catch you in the next one Peace